Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Holy Lamb of God. I want to talk to you about what the Lord has laid on my heart regarding to faith, you know, and I want to talk. I want to talk to you about faith. What is faith and what can faith do for us? Let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter 11, beginning at verse one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You see, when you have faith in God, okay, first of all, believing in God himself, a God that you have never seen before, that alone is having faith. You've never seen God, but you believe that he exists. You believe that he's sitting high upon that throne. That right there alone is having faith because you believe in what you haven't seen. Okay, and same thing when we ask God for something. God wants us to have faith. When we ask him for something, we got to believe that he can do what we ask him for. Go down to verse 6, Hebrews 11, chapter 6. But without faith, it's impossible to, to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So without faith, it's impossible to even please God. So if you go before the Lord in prayer and you asking the Lord for things, but you doubting in your heart, then you're not going to receive anything. Why? Because you're doubting. You ain't having faith. You ain't believing that God can do what you asking him to do for you. And you know what, what, what doubt causes you to do? You will pray for something. You will pray to the Lord for something and then keep praying for the same thing over and over again because you doubted in your heart the first time that God heard you and, the, and that God can do what you asked him to do. The Lord said, behold, I'm the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me, saith the Lord? You, when you come before God, when you go before God, you got to believe that he who he say he is, that he can do it sitting abundantly more than what. We can even ask for. We got to believe God for this. So if you go before God in prayer, child of God, and you asking the Lord for something, but you ain't believing that he's going to do it, and you're not believing that he can do it, then you're not going to receive what you're praying for. You must believe in the Lord. You got to have faith. Let's go to the book of uh, James chapter 2, verse 14. James chapter 2, beginning at verse 14. What doth it profit, my brethren? Though a man say he hath faith and have not works, can faith save him? If a brother or sister be naked and destitute of daily food, and one of you say unto them, Depart in peace, be ye warmed and filled, notwithstanding ye give them not those things which are needful to the body, what doth it profit? Even so faith, if it hath not works, it's dead being alone. Yeah, a man may say, thou hast faith, and I have works. Shew me thy faith without thy works, and I will shew thee my faith by my works. Thou believest that there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. But wilt thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works? You know, when God told Abraham to Take his son and sacrifice his son before him. Abraham did it having faith and believe in God. And his faith is because his, his works, he, he had faith with works. So when God told, him to, told Abraham to offer up Isaac, his son, as a sacrifice, he took Isaac and was about to sacrifice Isaac before the Lord. And because of that, he became justified. He did something that was pleasing in the sight of God. He was justified by his works. He believed God. And that's how God wants us to be. Not just us asking him for something. But if God tells us to do something, you got to believe. If God called you in a place or he commanded you to do something, you got to believe that he's going to be with you. You got to believe that he's willing to take you through that circumstance that he's telling you to go through. You got to believe if he told you to go out into the streets and preach the gospel, you got to know that God got you, that he's with you and he's going to help you. But if you don't have no faith, then what you're doing is, 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 is meaningless. Let's keep on reading. Uh, 
Okay. Verse 21. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? Cease thou how faith wrote with his works, and by works was faith made perfect. And the scripture was fulfilled which said Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness, and he was called the friend of God. Ye see then how that by, the, by works a man is justified, and not by faith only. Likewise also was not Rahab the harlot justified by works when she had received the messengers and had sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. So we got to not only just have faith, but we got to show God. We got to show God that we have faith. We got to put our faith to work. It's so many people in the world today, y'all. Children of God, saints, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. They are ask God for something, but they don't really believe that he's going to do it. They don't believe in their heart that he can do what they're asking him for. And that's why God don't move. And then that'll lead them with, with, with a bad understanding like God didn't hear their prayer. But if you a child of God, you righteous. God hear the prayer of the righteous. So you got to check yourself. Am I really having faith when I pray to the Lord? Do I really believe that he can do what I just asked him for? Do I really believe that he's going to do what I asked him to do? You got to believe and have faith. Because faith without works is dead. You know, Jesus Christ, when Jesus was in the flesh, he moved. Faith moved Jesus Christ. Look at the man who was a, he was paralyzed. They let him down through the roof of the house. Jesus saw their faith. And that moved Jesus to heal that man. He said, thy sins be forgiven thee. Take up your mat and walk. Look at the woman with the issue of blood. Her faith healed her. And not only did she just have faith, but she put it to work. She said, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, I know I'll be made whole. And she touched G the hem of Jesus' garment. And Jesus turned around and said to her, your faith, your faith has made you whole. Go in peace. Look at the blind men. When they asked Jesus Christ to, to get them back their sight, Jesus asked them, do you believe that I can do this? Do you believe that I can do this? They said, yes. Jesus said, be it done unto you according to what? According to your faith. Faith will move God. Faith will move the Lord in your life. If you have faith and believe, the Lord will make a move on your behalf. But if you go to the Lord doubting in your heart and people doing it today, Lord, please do this in my life. Please help me do this and do this. And you don't believe that he's going to do it or can do it. So what you would do is you would keep on praying for the same thing over and over and over again because you doubt in your heart. You got to have faith. Without faith, it's impossible. It's impossible to even please the Lord. So I wanted to let you know today that it's important for us to have faith and believe God. We got to believe that God is who he say he is and he can do what he said that he can do. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. But you got to believe that in your heart. You got to sincerely believe that in your heart. And stop praying for the same things because you doubt it in your heart the first time. You know, the devil, <laughs> the devil know if he can get you to doubt the Lord, that he can get you to sin against God. He can start controlling your mind and he'll rob you for everything that God want to restore in your life. The devil know if he can get you to doubt that he can torment you in your life. But God want us to have faith. He want us to believe. You know, when Jesus went back to his hometown, Jesus said a prophet is without honor except in his own country. And the Bible say that he didn't do many works there because of their unbelief. He didn't work many miracles because of their unbelief. They didn't believe Jesus Christ. They didn't believe he was who he said he was. And they didn't believe that he was able to do it sitting abundantly. And Jesus is still like the Bible say that Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. So Jesus is the same as he was. And if we go to the Lord looking for a miracle in our life, asking the Lord for a miracle, Lord, do something that only you can do. But if we don't believe him for it and don't believe that he will do it and can do it. And he's not going to move. Faith is what moves God. Jesus even said, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, it will be nothing too hard for you to do. You can speak to a mountain 
and tell this mountain to get out of your way and that mountain will obey you if you have faith and not doubt. Faith is very important to the Lord and that's something that we got to have to please God. Jesus said, when the son of man come, shall I find faith upon the earth? How is your faith? God bless you. Holiness is still right and deliverance is still real. Shalom.